was not able to come out here uh, 15 workouts, so just being able to compete after this, after all this. So how many? 16. 16? Yeah. You must be about done. Yeah, I got two more left. Uh, Dallas and Golden State. Why don't you just do all 30 at this point? I mean, <laughs> I mean, if it happened, I, if I had to, I would. I uh, just that love the game so much. So the next day, just coming out here to compete is just what I do. What's that process like? 16 workouts with a couple more is pretty insane. Um, I, I think a lot of people think it take a toll on your body, but just being able to take care of your body is the biggest thing. So after this, uh, after I'm done here, going to get in the cold tub, then I'm right on the flight uh, to Dallas. So then I uh, get there, then just relax for the day. So right after that workout, get in the cold tub again, uh, just to get uh, treatment on my body and uh, take recovery. Has there been any point where you're like, I don't know what city I'm in? Uh, now there's been a point where like, I forgot what day it was. So, I mean, that's just from all the flying. So, but it's good. It's been good for me. So you said you love this game so much, but you played football too, right? Yeah. You were supposed to go to North Carolina. Yeah. Okay. So tell us about the switch. I was on a, uh, so my North Carolina thing was supposed to, I was supposed to play football and walk on the basketball afterwards, but um, it didn't go accordingly. So I ended up uh, going to, um, I ended up playing too with Team Wall. Um, my junior year uh, in the summer, and that got me exposure to uh, let BC open the door, and they came down and watched me play. So Jim Christian and Coach Benelli, uh took a chance on me and trusted in me, so that was the biggest thing for me. And you turned out an offer from Alabama? Yeah, um, I was supposed to go to a camp um, during, during June, during the summer, and just didn't go. I was supposed to go to a uh, personal invite uh, offer to Oregon, so I ended up not going because my, my grandma passed away. So I just that's when everything was just, I was like, all right, I'm just going with basketball. Did you say Oregon offered you? Yeah, Oregon. I had a uh, personal invite to go up there to Oregon. I was supposed to come out here to work out. Yeah. What did you think about Dylan's jumper? I don't know if you've seen it. Oh, yeah. I was, when we was playing today, just telling him, y'all can't let him get open. Like, because he's, he's a green light, ultimate green light. Uh, great shooter, uh, mechanics as well. So just him being able to shoot the ball that well is good for him. What's the, uh, kind of describe your game. How do, what do you feel like you bring to it? I say uh, at this point, my thing is going to be defensive standpoint, knowing that you're not going to come in right away and get minutes. Is, uh, so showcasing my defense to give me those minutes too, uh, and also conduct the second team offense to show that I'm able to make plays for others is the biggest thing. How do you feel football maybe impacted your basketball game? Because you played it a little bit later than a lot of people who are going through this draft process. I say uh, my toughness, uh, just to um, dive on the floor, get out the loose balls is the biggest thing. And uh, if I fall getting back up is the biggest thing. So just staying with it. 16. Try, uh, how do you feel about your game? You feel like, hey man, I can do, I can get in this league. Oh yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready for it. I'm ready for June 20th to come around, see where I end up. So that's the biggest thing. Uh, after all this is said and done, uh, just gotta control what you can. Good luck. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank